Excuse me, sir. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? You do? Well, you better let the poor guy out. That's right. I guess we're going in. We're going in. All right. Next one up from a craft shack order that time of year because currently we just passed Halloween we're November 4th so this still fits I don't know when you're going to see this but Juicin Voorhees instead of Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th it's a hockey mask but look if you see the twig and the um, the little leaf I guess it's supposed to be an orange a little play on shit there a little Halloween. All right. Juice and Voorhees is a double IPA. Oh, man, look at that. That's awesome. It says, ch 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 Hop, 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 ch 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 Hop, 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 Yeah, I like that. Oh. From, like, the movie. ch 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 Instead of, ha, 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 hop, 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 hop. That was good. That was, that was, that's using your noggin. That's a selling point. All right. 8.1% ABV. Drink within 90 days of date on can. Let's go to the videotape. Can on September 4th. So, to the day. Three months. No, September, October, November. Two months, sorry. Two months old. So, we're well within the night. Check. Thanks to this guy. Because I checked my dates. All right. Um, San Diego. This... This is uh, this is uh, par uh, Pariah, San Diego, killing it. Small New York market, San Diego. Check them out. Everything they do is very good. That I've had. Um, no practice is sacred. I guess. And this has twenty four IBUs, so very low in the bitterness, for eight point one percent. All right, there's a pa there's a passage. You want me to do it? No. The wife's voting no. I've had a few. The eyes might be a little swirly, but we're gonna do it anyway. Juicin Voorhees is Pariah's double IPA, sporting an unspottable depth of character, yet remains graceful despite its elevated strength. In the glass, it pours. An opaque golden hue, I love that word, hue, with a frothy white foam, frothy foam is always good, and a pungent peach, grapefruit, and lurking soft tropical fruits on the palate. I mean, that this is almost reads like a menu, like when they're trying to sell you on buying a dish. Brewing our fall seasonal is something we greatly look forward each year, look forward to each year and hope you will enjoy you enjoy it as the nights cool and the foliage turns foliage already turned nights are very cool what are we in like the mid to low 40s today was supposed to be in the 30s 30s I'm getting down there this guy's territory young ishmael territory all right i think i read that pretty good for a guy who had a few i think that was pretty good it's pretty solid right I didn't stumble at all so, they gave me a lot of a lot You're of doubting good, yourself. Yeah, it was gonna be pretty bad. They're giving me a lot of uh, promising hope here. Let's get a little clean on it. Snap this tin. You have a degree in what, and you're doubting yourself on reading a passage on a, a no, beer can? Because I was drinking, I'm not doubting myself on reading it. I don't read. I don't see. I get a little twirly, and I fumble my words a lot. That's what I do. You know that. No? You know, you're getting a lot you're getting a lot in these side videos here. Why don't you peek in a little bit and <laughs> give some real input? I'm here for moral support. Let's try to get some more juice in there. The juice. Alright, that's pretty good. I went a little aggressive, but what are you gonna do? That's a another Deep, dark, golden, orange color. Non-see-through, very hazy. Looks New England style to me. Even though I don't think they called it a New England. No, this is a double IPA. Uh, very frothy on top. 
medium bubbles mixed with some big bubbles on the side. Teeny tiny bubbles. It's a whole mixture of bubbles. It's a bubble party on the side. And average carbonation. No floating sediment. Get a nose on it. Blue ice. Open. Get a nose on them. <laughs> That's my dude. Alright. Hold on. This smells very good. Let's get, try to get a little more juice in there. Now I'm thinking about blue ice. I might pop off 60 push-ups for you, man. I'm going to give you 60. I should have never gave you 57. That was my bad. That will never happen again. Ooh. It did go in the nose. Oh, man. Snorting here. Yeah. I, I took it down like a line. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I definitely get citrus. 100% citrus. But I don't know if it's orange. I would say maybe like a, more like in the tangerine, clementine family. Nice... Kind of sweet, soft, like bubblegum scent, too. Maybe the yeast. That's really all I get. Really minor, soft, undertone, earthy undertones to it. Nothing crazy. Nothing that could stand out in like a pinpoint, like a pine or fresh-cut grass or anything like that. No dankness, no weed. It's just very pleasant. It smells very pleasant. Cheers. Tell everybody, man. Get on that North Park train. I'm in North Park. Well, they're, <laughs> they're the leaders of it. Get on that San Diego train. Choo-choo. North Park. They're the conductor. You got Pariah. You got North Park. That was a good recovery there. Yeah, I say, yeah, I do all right. Um, I'm missing another one. There's another big stand here. Oh, uh, Abnormal. There's at least four or five that I know that are, they're, 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 they're locking, loading, banging heads in uh, San Diego. Small New York market, I'm telling you. This is loaded with citrus. Light body. I do that for 8.1, there'll be a little more, little more on the medium side. This is going down towards from medium to light, maybe in the middle. A little bit more than decent on the bubbly. It's kind of bubbly. That's really all I got from you. You get a burst of citrus. Sip. Mid-palate. Like... Seltzer water, soda, carbonation, like a lot of it, like a good amount of carbonation. So you get citrus, carbonation, then you get this smooth, light-bodied, earthy finish. Slight bitterness, slight sting. It does not dry out, lingers. This is a beer you, you can take a sip, maybe uh, this time of year. Jason, uh, Juice and Voorhees. Jason Voorhees. You could be at like a campfire or like around a lake. And then you could, you know, you could have a couple sentences before you need another sip. It's not dried out. I need another sip. It lingers. They did a damn good job. Very good job. You want to try it? The base just gets citrus. Bubbly. Slight. Bitter. Earthy finish that lingers for a little bit. I think I absolutely nailed that one. Citrus, bubbly. Huh? Real earthy. At the end. Citrus in the beginning. Yeah. I mean, citrus. When I say citrus, I'm saying not pulpy, juicy fruit. I'm saying like a zest, like a orange peel. Oranges. Pithy. Um, grapefruit peel. Or you, oh, better yet, we had an orange, and you know, you have a nice juicy slice, but there's like two pits in it, and you, I'm looking at you. Oh, sorry. 
there's like two pits in it, and you, and, and you, you take that little wedge of orange, and you eat it, and you accidentally bite the pit, and it crumbles up within the pulp. Yes, you're very descriptive. <laughs> That's not what I was asking you. Do you understand what I'm saying is what I'm asking? I wasn't really paying attention because I'm, I'm on the phone. I'm saying it's citrusy, but it's not like a an upfront, overly ripened piece of fruit citrus. It's like a zest or orange peel. Yeah, just or when you it bite simple. into it, it's it's orange zest. No, but also when <laughs> uh, listen, when you bite into the pit, it got that bitterness, that bit of punch with the juice, and it kind of like levels out in the mouth, and you're like. Should I spit it out? That's not that bad. I, I could deal with this. You know what? I think you're right. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're right. She's mocking me. He's right. <laughs> All right. All right. You go back in your phone. Do that. I'll do the, I'll do the review. I think I did good. Um, Pat yourself on the back there. Go ahead. <laughs> you didn't think I'd get these clubs that far back with the, with the stretch. But I can because I do, I do forearms behind the head. I'm an animal. All right, um, this is damn good, man. I'm telling you, you see San Diego in a can, buy it. I'm not laughing. Buy it. <laughs> All right, um, I don't want to scare you guys. Still got the Woosa on. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go 4-3 on this one. I, I did dynamite job. Killed it. Right out, they... They stepped up and they they hit a ninth a ninth inning home run. I could have probably went four four, but I'm gonna go a high A minus four three. Put it in the books. I will probably do another one because the wife got me down here. And if I'm gonna be down here, I'm drinking. I got you down here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>